friends. Just got loaded out here in Rice, Texas. Back where I delivered yesterday. That Prairie Pet Foods, this place. <laughs> got some more of that. It's, it's probably the same stuff I just dropped off. So I just unloaded it in one spot and they loaded me with the same stuff in a different spot. <laughs> but <laughs> that's all right. I'm loaded and I'm headed to California. It's gonna be a good week. I can feel it in my bones. Last week was actually pretty good, even with my little screw up I did, where I did, where I deadheaded for the price of fuel instead of more a reasonable number like I should have. I still made over six thousand dollars. That doesn't include the. That's gross. So fuel isn't added in or all that other stuff. So still, it's a pretty good week. All right, I gotta get on this interstate here. Try not to run shit over. Gotta watch that trailer. Uh, the bumps in the road. Truck drivers are nice to me. These damn four wheels, they don't give a crap about me. I guess they get pissed off or something. But let me tell you, with all the taxes that we pay and fuel, the IFTA tax, all this other stuff, we pay for these damn roads. So you shouldn't be too pissed off about us. going up here to wow uh, that's weird oh, my GPS is being silly it's what she does thinks I'm still on the frontage road but I'm just gonna be going up here a little bit to damn you Linda I'm talking here, not you. My turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go up here and get some breakfast. I woke up a little later than I wanted to, so I had to hurry up over here and get loaded. It's a long drive to uh, long drive to California. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> long drive to California. I think it's like 24 hours from here. That's a long drive. Half of it through Texas. <laughs> Texas takes forever to get through. That's alright. I don't mind it too much. Finally got up to speed. Pretty nice day though out here in Texas. You don't get to say that very often. But then again, I'm pretty far away from the Gulf of Mexico. Where I get down to Houston, it's just buggy. Step outside, you're just covered in sweat because all the humidity. It's no fun at all. Well, we should be doing all right. I should be able to get home this week, which would be pretty cool. I gotta change the oil. Fix a line that came a little bit loose. It's leaking a little bit. I just don't have the right tool to get in there and tighten it up right. I need a crow's foot. See how far I make it tonight. I'm gonna try to get about 750 miles. Might be able to make it too. 
just on the other side of Albuquerque. This is one of those times I probably shouldn't do the speed limit, but I'm going to be doing it the whole way there. Just because I want to make up a couple hours. I wasted a lot of fuel, but this one's paying pretty good, so I can make up for it. Especially I want to get home. <laughs> so sooner I get there, sooner I get loaded and headed back. He told me he already had a load planned for me when I get out there, so that would be pretty cool. I think I've been out for three weeks. Four, no, it's got to be like four or five weeks. I've been out for a while. I need a little time off, see some friends, see my cats. <laughs> The thing people should do is see if a truck broke down or somebody on the side of the road they got their flashers on get over give them a little break or if they're on the side of the road and they don't have their flashers on don't worry about them i consider them abandoned and no point in getting over for them started back of the loves Have 